I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It actually feels like spring. I, I, I'm excited. I'm giddy. I'm ready for fish. Chris Brandt, the Beef Shaman on El Capitan. Let's do it. It's springtime in San Diego. Thanks for watching. Oh, it is a fish. First fish of the day. Small one, but still a fish. All right. That's a little better. Not much, but. A little male up in the shallows. Another one on the net. Now I've tried spinner baits, I've tried Senkos, I've tried jigs. I did get one bite on a jig that I missed. Again, green pumpkin. But I think I found a pattern. They've all been in less than 10 feet of water. Actually, probably less than six feet of water. Now, I've heard talk that people have been doing well on flukes. You know, I talked to people that were doing well on Senkos up in, right in the bushes. I do want that bigger bite on the jig, though. So I will keep going back to that. Oh, that was exciting, but it was not a fish. <laughs> a fish but it's stuck. There we go. I keep trying other things and I go back to the Ned rig and I keep getting more fish. Now they're not big but the fish. Well, all right I'm eating some dried pineapple and kind of went down wrong so I need something to drink. See what I got in here. Ooh, it's a red can. All right, I got something uh, brand new for me. Um, the Rail Splitter Red Ale from Lincoln Beer Company in Burbank. Ooh, 2022 Great American Beer Festival. American Amber Red. So it's a 5.5% uh, healthy malt presence, sprinkle of roast, and a touch of sweet with a clean finish. I know nothing about this company. Except that I'm going to drink their beer right now. It doesn't smell remarkable. A little bit of sweetness and malt on the nose. It's clean, it's easy drinking, um, not hoppy. 
I mean, maybe a little bit of hop bitterness, but not very much. Um, definitely a little roasty, malty. Um, not too sweet, but I was just eating dried pineapple, so that's pretty sweet. But it's pretty good. It's pretty sessionable. Yeah, very clean finish. Uh, wow. 25 IBUs. That's the bitterness, so it's not very bitter. And uh, it's got some malt. Um, not too heavy of a mouthfeel. Um, just clean, easy drinking. And if you want something different, it's kind of a cool day today, so uh, yeah, try some of that. Lincoln Beer Company. Oh, it's got that top hat on the front. I didn't even notice that until right now. I've been catching the fish today pretty uh, shallow, but you know, every once in a while you gotta throw something out deep just to see if there's anything out there. Come on, baby. Come on. Put a 5.5 for the 5.5% beer. <clears throat> now the lake has continued to rise, it looks like. It's as high as I've seen it in a long, long time. <clears throat> Where you can't actually see much of a water line up on the shore any longer. Which means there's a lot of fishable cover. by that stick. Oh. oh well. Another uh, green pumpkin Ned Rig fish. Keep wanting to <clears throat> go back to the jig because I want a bigger bite, but I end up going back to the Ned Rig because I'm getting bit. Fish. Oh, that's a fish. There we go. No, not the sticks. Not in the sticks. hooked or something. Number five. Lost two. Pretty fish. Nice colors. So to give you an idea of how long it's been since this area was underwater, that's a cactus. <laughs> a prickly pear cactus. And that's not a small prickly pear cactus either. I'm not gonna go give you a closer look because I don't want it getting anywhere near my float tube. Oh, it's the best clarity I've seen in a long time. So you can see down like five or six feet. So it's funny, I've caught a, a few and lost a couple. Um, last week I was at Lake Poway and I had one of the weirdest experiences of my life as a fish, bass fisherman. I ended up catching a 7.35 pound bass, which is such a nice fish. And then realized after the fact that my camera had been turned off and then I got angry. So I had these conflicting feelings all day about, you know, I caught a wonderful fish. I didn't get it on camera. I got a wonderful fish. I didn't get it on camera. So it's the most upset I've been with actually catching a really nice fish in my life. And it's funny because I called my buddy Brad and explained it to him. And he's like, well, you know, without a photo as proof, it just doesn't count. Like, I know, I know. So he said, how about I uh, draw a picture of a fish for you and you can post that. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Appreciate that. 
here's my fish. <laughs> Tell me what you guys would think if something like that happened to you. I was putting it in my hand. That's okay. I'm having fun. Using six pound test and all the brunch. <laughs> the brunch. Brush. Using the Z-Man Ned Rig. Green pumpkin. I'm using a one uh, eighth ounce. Ned rig head. I cannot get bit on anything but this. All right, from the Coronado Brewing Company. I don't know if I've done Coronado before. I love Coronado. Um, it's the Nado Japanese Lager. This is only a 4.5% super dry Japanese lager. Smells like a Japanese lager. Go figure. Like uh, Sapporo or something like that. Oh, that is good. Crisp, light, refreshing, super dry, so not sweet, um, but not overly bitter either. It's got a decent mouthfeel and very drinkable. Oh, you can crush these. These are delicious. Pick some of this up. Have this with your sushi or whatever fish you want. God, I took three gulps and half the can's gone. <laughs> but luckily it's only 4.5%. Let's get some fish. that net rig. Keep trying other things, but you know, one thing I miss a lot is uh, SD Fish. I uh, don't know if anybody knows where it went, or well, one day it just stopped working. I've heard some theories that the guy who owns it just didn't want to deal with it anymore and stuff. Who knows, but uh, miss listening to all the reports and you know finding out how the fishing is. If you got any information on where it went, let me know. You know what, I've had an awesome time out here. I've caught a bunch of fish, I lost a few, talked to some people, but it's springtime now and the fish have moved up. Definitely looking for better quality in the future, and uh, when I do catch the quality fish, I'll make sure I have my camera on. Uh, but you know what? It's fun just being out here. I learned that everybody else was catching them on the skinny green pumpkin Senkos up close. I could only get them on the green pumpkin Ned Rig. But you know what? We're catching them. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the water. Looking forward to bear it in a couple of weeks. You gonna be there? I'm gonna be there. I know the fish are gonna be there. See you guys soon, cheers.
to end of the day. Not a giant, but a bonus fish. Right after I was done filming that too. And the next cast. <laughs> Killing it. They're not giant, but they're fun. <laughs> 